Senga, as always, looking absolutely buffed for a 61 kilo fighter. No elbow, no height and massive reach advantage. He's got very long arms. Goes to Sonia Lee. The experience goes the way of Kazemon Sega. Michael Chevello, Mike Kogan with you. Sega is ready. It was a dapper appearance at the press conference two days ago. Certainly won the fashion plate award. Let's see if he can win this fight. Gloves turned outwards here in more of a Muay Thai boxing guard than a Western boxing guard on Kazam on Sega. Good leg kick there from Sun Hyun Lee. Right cross through the center from Lee. He's already opening up with some heavy artillery off the hands as the Korean in the black trucks. There's the first Mawashi getting off the lead leg. Doubles up and it does Kazam on Sega. Sega fights in a very rigid, straight-up stance. That's from his karate background. What he needs to do is tuck the chin a little more, look through his brow, look through his gloves, because he does leave his chin up there and exposed. Nice right-hand lead there from Sun Hyun Lee. Good one-two from Sega. A oh, nice snappy one-two. And that's what he needs to do at the end of those hand combinations. Put the exclamation mark with the leg kick. Lower the boom on the lead leg of Sun Hyun Lee. Official caution there for Sega. Catch and sweep. Sega, who looks very vicious in his run up to the semi finals of the lightweight tournament before running into Yamato. His win over Fire Harada was just devastating. And that's a beautiful round kick. Followed by the right hand, whips up that question mark kick, also known as a Brazilian kick. Where it looks like it's going to the midsection, but it whips over the top of the glove and hooks around the back of the net. Checks the low kick to Sega. High kick from Sun Hyun Lee. Sega started the slower of the two, but he certainly found his rhythm a little more now. And he started to score with his hand and with his legs, as you see, just attacking that right side of the carcass where there's a large red welt just below the rib cage of Sokin Lee. Lee goes to the liver, then goes up to the jaw. If there's one thing you can say about Korean fighters, they're all tremendously tough. They can take enormous amounts of punishment. End of the first round, Mike. I'd have to score it for Sega. I mean, as you stated, he started out a little slow, but he definitely picked up the rhythm halfway through the first round. I think he got his timing. He's got his timing down. He's got perfect attacks. I mean, he's been attacking everything from the legs to the body, going upstairs, delivering more of the power shots to the two. So definitely should go in to Sega, although the judges see it as a draw. Here we go, second round of action. It was a good start to the first from Sun Hyun Lee. Sega powered back well at the last minute or so. And Sun Hyun Lee going to the legs early here. You know, one thing Lee stopped doing halfway through the first round is fighting tall. When he started out the fight, he was fighting tall. He was keeping Sega at, at the tip of his hand, you know, fully extended. And I think Sega was able to suck him into his game and close that gap and find the reach. Maigeri, front kick from Sega. Stepped through knee, was nicely done. He was looking for the liver. 
and that's what Lee needs to do. Keep the front kicks going, keep Sega at bay, and then come in fighting tall. We haven't seen Sega wind up his trademark spinning hook kick yet. As he just gets out of way of it. Right hand lead, fakes with the right hand as Lee. Sega again with that Mike Gary off the front foot. I like how he uses it as a kick trap. So kick, Lee at back. Curls the knuckles in, drops the liver, straight right cross. Three good punches there from Son Hyun Lee. Make it four. And he goes to the liver, five, six, seven scoring shots. And Kazaya oh! goes down. This would be a huge upset. He just dropped him with a liver shot. Seven punches and the liver shot was in. That was beautiful stuff from the Korean. Kazaya Monsega in trouble. It is hard to recover from a liver shot. And Lee's going to town. Second knockdown. Team Korea is looking for a huge upset here. The lead leg. The lead leg is starting to give up. You know, one thing Lee did consistently is attack that lead leg. Once you get tagged to the liver, your whole body shuts down. It is very hard to recover. One more knockdown and it's over. Can Sega survive 60 seconds? Lee is going for the finish. He goes to the liver again, dropping that left hand. Oh, big oh. right hand to the jawline. Lee is on fire here. Oh, is just molesting Kazam on Sega. If Lee had a little more, you know, muscle weight on him, he would have. This fight would have been over by now. I mean, props to Sega for taking this. He's taking a brutal, brutal beating here in the second round. Sega needs to rely on his legs a lot more and not so much the hands. It looks like he may survive here. As Lee goes to the liver, Sega clicks him with a hook. What a fight. This is the brilliance of K1, Max. This is the brilliance of the new lightweight division. The technique, the speed, the precision, the work rate. It's just phenomenal. Sega will survive. But you've got to wonder how much the Karataka has left in the tank for three more minutes. Complete and utter ownership from Sun Kun Lee. Wow, what a performance by Lee. Talk about a comeback here in the second round. I mean, he drops him twice with a devastating liver shot. That front leg has been tenderized for almost two rounds. It's a 10-7 round. I don't think I've ever seen a 10-7 round. Ever. Sega needs a knockout here in the third round if he has any hopes of winning this fight at all. But Lee just Lee is just relentless and he seems unstoppable. Still more Sung Hyun Lee and Kazam on Sega coming up next. We'll be right back with more HDNet Presents K1 World Max 2010 Final 16. Welcome back as HDNet Presents K1 World Max 2010, Final 16. Third round of action. 2017 on the judges' scorecards. The only way Sega wins this is by knockout. Has he got the intestinal fortitude to somehow turn the tide? It'll be Lee trying to bridge the gap here. Get on the inside and go back to that liver. Chop it up. He'll work the legs a little first, and now you see Sega lining up the turning kick. Lee doing a great job using that push kick when he needs to to keep, keep Sega at bay and not let him come in close. Nice right hand there from Sega. Left hook, right hand, the cross missed the target. Looks like he's recomposed. Reset himself here, because I am on Sega. Nice clubbing right hand. Then dropped to the liver again, Lee. He has, but Lee's just relentless. He won't let Sega take over the pace of this fight. He's right there with him. Sega goes from Mawashigeri. The teenagers are turning it up here in Seoul. 19-year-old Son Hyun Lee after we saw a great victory from his 17-year-old compatriot in the previous fight. 
Sega has to knock him out. He knows that he trails by three points. It's flashed on the giant screens here in the arena. But how is he going to knock out Lee? What options has he got? The hands aren't getting through. The step through knees aren't connecting. It's time maybe for him to wind up and spin. Lee has been very, very good at blocking those body kicks, dropping his elbows just in time to block those body kicks from Sega. So Sega hasn't been able to penetrate his defense. Sega is persisting with a step through knees. There's a lot of welting on the midsection of Lee, but he just won't go down the Korean from those knees. Sega's going to change it up here. You see he was looking to lock up for a single-handed clinch and throw the knee again. He's looking for it again, Kazam on Sega. There's another knee, but it's not enough. The knees don't have the mustard. They're not going to drop Lee for a victory. The right hand will go close, but this kid can take a punch. Maybe Sega should have come out attacking the legs relentlessly in the hope that Lee would drop his hands and allow him to throw one of those mawashis up to the head like that. I think it's a difficult, the, the, what's difficult for Sega to do is break Lee's uh, timing and break his um, attack. I mean, the guy's very, very active here, and he has not slowed down all of three rounds. A much better round for Sega. And they took it out toe to toe. This crowd going bananas for Son Hyun Lee, and rightly so. Team Korea is going to make it 2 0 over Team Japan. Phenomenal first performance for Lee here in the K1 on a big stage in his own home country. So it's got to be a treat for him and for all these fans that are watching. Zaymon Sega tried his best in the final round, but the game plan of the knees, I just thought, was ineffective. He did some damage to the body, but he was not going to knock out Lee with those knees. And this will be a no-brainer. All three judges. The soju will be flowing tonight here in Korea. Team career up 2-0 over Team Japan. Look at the beautiful liver shots there from Lee. Boom, boom to the body. That was at the end of a seven-punch combination that dropped Kazam on Sega. Tucks it under the elbow. Absolute perfection on the liver shot and that hook to the jawline.